Okay, marhaba, uh, salam. Uh, this is week five chemistry AMS. It's very, very easy, Saraha. Like, it's it's all, I think everything is repeat except one question. Okay, first question. Uh, which one shows the melting process of water ice cubes? Uh, just know that melting is endothermic. Okay, it's endothermic. Uh, we have solid, liquid, gas. Whenever you're moving to the right, you need energy to split the molecules, so it will be endothermic. And whenever you're moving to the left, it's going to be exothermic because uh, you're going to be releasing energy. Okay, uh, okay, now we know it's endothermic, so what, Yani? Uh, these are, <coughs> sorry, uh, these are all the same, uh, except uh, this one has energy on the left, this one has energy on the right. Now, since it's endothermic, we have to absorb energy, so the energy has to be on the left. Now, what's the difference between these two? This one's a liquid, this one's a solid. You guys know melting is going from ice to liquid water, so you have to go from solid ice to liquid water. Okay, not not liquid to solid. Okay, a uh, specific volume of liquid water was placed in a beaker and heated to its boiling point. Okay, the heat absorbed while it was boiling uh, causes the liquid to evaporate. Obviously, yeah, uh, you know, boiling is when the water starts evaporating and turning into a gas. Uh, and then the heat applied while the water is boiling does not raise the temperature. Okay, after, once you heat water, okay, once you heat water, this is the stove, whatever, this is your cup of water. H2O and O, okay. Uh, once, once, once it starts boiling and bubbling, whatever, okay. After that, at 100 Celsius, you know, it boils at 100. After that, it doesn't go up. It doesn't go up anymore, okay. So while it's boiling, you can't really raise the temperature anymore, no matter how much heat you apply. Uh, and the input of heat causes the temperature to decrease, obviously not. And the temperature increases as the liquid releases energy. No, it doesn't. It does. It doesn't increase. Question three. Uh, what what defines the vapor pressure? Vapor pressure is uh, equilibrium. Okay, this one you just memorize this. Okay, the vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by a vapor in equilibrium. Equilibrium is the key word. If it comes typing, they're probably gonna ask about the word equilibrium. Okay, this is the key word in this case. In equilibrium, equilibrium means uh, when the pressure of the water, okay, is equal to the pressure outside. Okay, that's that's what equilibrium means. They're equal. Uh, question four. Uh, which affects the, boil the boiling point and melting point? Uh, the percentage composition of the solution. What does percentage composition of the solution mean? Uh, it means yani, the concentration. Okay, The more concentrated it is, uh, yani, the, the lower the boiling point and the melting point. Okay, uh, You don't have to know if it's lower or higher. I don't think you have to know. But just know that the concentration obviously affects the boiling and the melting point. Question 5. The liquid boils when the vapor pressure is equal to the pressure above the surface. Remember, now we said over here, define vapor pressure. It's at equilibrium. So, yani when the when what it boils when the pressure of the vapor is equal to the pressure above it. That's that's yani vapor pressure when it's at equilibrium and when it's equal. Okay. Question six. At the same temperature, remember same temperature, same average kinetic energy. Just when you memorize it. Okay. Question seven. Uh, if it participates in the reaction, it's called predominant reacting speed. Okay, you guys know. Now, when you have uh, a long equation, like the overall ionic, remember we took those, it has a lot of ions. Show when they become predominant, what are the predominant? Is that if you're producing NaCl, the predominant would be the ones that take part in forming your precipitate, which in this case are Na plus and Cl minus. Okay, that's, that's, that's what predominant is, if it takes part in the reaction. Okay, question eight. I'm gonna skip this, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. You wanna, if you really want to, just go back to the last three chemistry AMS recordings. Uh, I'm not in the mood to solve it again, okay? It's the same numbers. It didn't change from any of the last quizzes. If, uh, if you want, go back to the old recordings. Uh, I'll just give you the rule: concentration is C equals N over V. Uh, moles is N equals CV. Uh, volume is V equals N over C. And for to find the mass, you have to first find moles by doing N equals CV. And then after you find the moles, do n equals m over m. Question nine. Okay, this is the new one. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, question nine. Uh, they're saying this is the concentration of ions. This is the stuff that I told you not to study in periodic because it wasn't required for the periodic material. But now, yani khalas, it's in the material. Okay. Uh, a solution is prepared by adding a fifty centimeter cube of a solution which contains zero point one moles. Uh, of sodium sulfate, which is Na2SO4, 
and we also have 150 centimeter cube of a solution which contains 0.2 moles of ZnCl2. They want the concentration of this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, how do you do it? I'm gonna give you steps. This is without limiting an excess. Next week we'll have limiting an excess. That's when stuff becomes harder, okay? But for now it's very, very easy. Step one is write the dissociation reaction, okay? Write the dissociation. Uh, reaction and find moles uh, and find all moles. Let's just say find all moles. Okay What is the dissociation reaction? Okay, the dissociation reaction is you take this one the Na2SO4 and you take the ZnCl2 Hold on like Na2SO4 Okay, and it's going to be obviously uh, Aqueous because they said aqueous Okay, because it's inside the solution and then also we have ZnCl2 which they also said, they didn't say it's aqueous, but it's going to be aqueous. This doesn't matter, obviously, when solving aqueous or solid, it doesn't matter, but yeah, I'm just writing it so you guys know. Okay, dissociation reaction, dissociate. When something dissociates, means it breaks apart. Okay, any 2 and SO4, what, 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 what makes them up? Uh, obviously, it's going to be Na and SO4. Okay, okay, now uh, you have to put aqueous, obviously, and you have to put aqueous, you have plus, right? Okay, what's the charge of Na? Na is plus, SO4 is 2 minus, okay? And if you don't know this, it's always going to be given over here, like Na is plus, SO4 is 2 minus. Okay, is this equation balanced? Here you have 2 Na's, here you have 1, so obviously not, so you have to put 2 here. SO4, 2 minus, SO4, 2 minus, they're balanced. Okay, this one here, Zn, Cl2. Zn dissociates to give you Z, <coughs> sorry, Zn2 plus, which is aqueous, plus Cl minus, which is also aqueous. Check if it's balanced. Zn isn't is uh, sorry. Zn is balanced, uh, but Cl isn't balanced. Here you have two. Here you have one. So you put the two, okay. And this like this, we, we found the dissociation reaction. But did we find the moles? We didn't. Type. Now now we have zero point one moles of sodium sulfate. So since you have the zero point one moles of sodium sulfate, you can put zero point one moles under it, right? طب نحن بدنا نعرف المولز تبعو السوديوم والسلفيت اوكي وي ونت نو ذا مولز اوف ذيس تو طيب انت هاو هاو كان يو دو ات اوكي اتس فيري فيري ايزي اوكي ذيس هاز ا كوفيشنت اوف تو اوبسلي سو يو جست مولتبلاي ذيس ون باي تو يو جيت 0.2 مولز ذيس ون هاو اس او 4 تو ماينس ان اي 2 اس او 4 ذي هاف ذا سيم كوفيشنت سو يو جست كيپ ات ذا سيم 0.1 مولز اوكي اول يو كان دو ار ان جي ار بس ذيس از واي سيمبل اوكي ذيس از واي واي ايزي uh, here, what's the moles? ZnCl2 was given 0.2 moles up in the question, so you write under it 0.2 moles. Zn2 plus has the same coefficient, so it stays 0.2 moles. But the 2 Cl minus has a 2 coefficient, so you multiply it by 2, it's like 0.4 moles. Okay. Hala. Step two after finding the moles is to find concentrations. Sorry, find concentrations. Okay, that's I'm sorry for the handwriting. Okay, okay. How do you find concentration? C equals n over v. So let's let's start with the con brackets means concentration. Let's start with the concentration of Na plus. Okay, Na plus. What's gonna be the moles of Na plus? Zero point two. Okay, sorry, sorry. This is C equals n over v total, because we're mixing these two solutions, right? So there's gonna be a total volume. The first volume plus the second volume. This is v one. This is v two. You have to plus them. Okay, Na plus will be the, mol the moles of Na+, plus, which is, in this case, we found 0 0.2, okay, over the total volume, which is 150, uh, sorry, 50 centimeter cube plus 150 centimeter cube, and I'm going to write here, V total equals 50 cm cube plus 150 cm cube, which is 200 cm cube. But we can't keep it in cm cube, you guys know that. We have to convert it to dm cube or liter, which you do by dividing by 1,000, so it will be 0 0.2 dm cube okay that's v total so it's going to be 0 0.2 as the moles divided by 0 0.2 and obviously it's going to be equal to 1.0 mole second one let's do so4 2 minus so4 2 minus okay the moles of so4 2 minus which is 0 0.1 over the total volume total volume is always the same so 0 0.2 and you sorry 0 0.2 equals 0 0.50 more two significant figures because they asked for it okay and then zn2 plus uh make some space zn2 plus equals the moles of zn2 plus which is 0 0.2 over the v total which is again 0 0.2 and you get 1.0 
molar. And then the last one, 2Cl minus, you don't write 2Cl minus, you just put Cl minus. It will be the moles of Cl minus, which is 0.4 moles over the total volume of the total, 0.2, and you get 2.0 molar. This is how you solve these concentration of ions. Okay, two steps, but they're a bit long. Okay, feel free to screenshot if you want. Okay, okay, uh, this one, uh, crisscross method. Uh, since they have the same coefficient, you just keep it as MgO. Here again, same co same co as the same charge, same charge. You keep it as MgO. Here also same charge, one and one. So you keep it as NH4Cl. Uh, going down, Ca2 plus N3 minus. They don't have the same coefficient, so you cross this down to here and cross this down to here. So it'll be Ca3 and two, okay. And then uh, Al3 SO4 two minus. You, you you again they don't have same charges so you take this one down here and then this one down here be al2 so4 but you keep the three outside because you can't apply the subscript if it's already a compound okay you have to keep it outside this is also in the past two or three am why is my stuff free? okay this is in the past two or three ams's if, uh, no need an experiment 0.5 moles of crno3 crystals okay uh in 100 milliliters of water they want the moles of each ion <coughs> sorry uh, whenever they want each ion, you follow the same steps I did last time, except now they don't want concentration, so we skip step, step two of finding the concentration. We only write uh, the dissociation reaction. Okay, why dissociation reaction? You only use it uh, if you're looking for ions. Okay, and this association reaction of CrNO3 uh, three will be Cr three plus aqueous. It's obviously aqueous. Uh, because in what? Oh no, no, it's solid, solid. That doesn't matter. So him, uh, uh, plus uh, NO3 minus. Uh, the charge of 3 plus you can get from the question, okay? And NO3 minus also you can get from the question, uh, which doesn't really matter. Uh, it won't really change your answer. This is a quiz. Uh, now check if it's balanced. CR, CR, it's balanced. But here you have three NO3s, here you have one, so you can the three over here okay how do we find the moles same thing as last time crno3 was 0 0.5 moles since they have the same coefficient as cr so stay as 0 0.5 moles and this one has three as a coefficient so we multiply it by three it will be 1.5 moles so the concentration of the sorry the moles of the cr3 plus ion will be 0 0.5 0.50 because they want two significant figures and three and the concentration of no3 minus will be 1.5 moles Okay, and I'm looking at the wrong answer because you know, I'm not going to show you the answered one. They're saying balance, okay, uh, balance equation. Here you have Fe, Fe it's balanced. Here you have three CLs, here you have one. So what do you do? You just put three, okay, uh, th that's it. Question 13, uh, this one. Uh, this is old, okay, they gave you 14.2 grams of chlorine, so Cl2, 14.2. Uh, find the number of moles. Okay, moles is N equals M over M because we have the mass. The mass of uh, chlorine is 14.2 from the question, and the molar mass of Cl2 chlorine is 71, because Cl is 35.52 of it would be 71, and you get 0 0.200 moles, three significant figures. Okay, then they want moles of sodium chloride. Okay, we use R and GR. I don't know in other schools if you're taught the same way, but now we call it R and GR. Okay, 2Na plus Cl2 to produce 2Na Cl, right? Okay. Uh, they're asking for moles of sodium chloride. Okay, always start with what you have given. Okay, and what I have so far is the moles of chlorine. So under chlorine in my given, I have it given is 0.2. But the, from the reaction, how many moles of chlorine are there? There's one, because the coefficient of Cl2 is one. Okay, sodium chloride, the moles of sodium, sodium chloride is an ACL. Okay, so you go to an, uh, so, sodium chloride. What's the reaction ratio? You will always have something written. Okay, given ratio, you don't. Okay, reaction ratios, it, what you get it from the reaction, which is two. Okay, I will given, we don't know it, for x, cross multiply, you get 2 times 0 0.2, it's 0 0.400 moles, okay? Find the mass of sodium chloride. Everybody knows this, it should be n equals m over m. The moles of sodium chloride is 0.4. The mass we're trying to find, and the molar mass of sodium chloride is going to be 58.5. You cross multiply, you get 23.4. Okay, this one, the syringe question, I remember it. I think everyone remembers it. Uh, what's the moles of zinc? They gave you the mass of zinc. How do you find the moles? M over M. So N equals the mass, which is 0 0.109, divided by the molar mass of zinc, which is 65.4. And you get 
this answer pretty much 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 3 okay then they say what's the modes of hydrogen okay again you do rr and gr you do uh we have what do you call it? zero point uh wait, so we had 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 3 moles under zinc we want hydrogen Hydrogen and zinc have the same coefficient, so there's no need to cross multiply with my bar shoe. If I you just keep it the same, so 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, then they say the volume. Okay, the volume equals, since we're talking about RTP, yeah? Uh, so it will be uh, Vm, because you know n can be equal to V over Vm. Uh, Vm, since it's talking about RTP, RTP will be 24. Okay, uh, volume we're trying to find. And moles is we said is 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, how do you find the volume? Obviously, you, you multiply Vm by the moles, and you're gonna get 0 0.00, no, no 0 0.04. You get 0 0.04, I think. Uh, but they're saying it's in cm cube. So what do you do with this 0 0.04? Whatever answer you get in the exam, you just multiply it by 1,000 because it's in cm cube. We and uh, this volume that we got is in dm cube. So to convert it to cm cube, you multiply by 1000 and you get 40. And that's the answer over here. It's The syringe will be at 40 over here. Okay, question 15. Uh, since the temperature isn't changing, the vapor pressure remains constant. If the temperature remains constant, yani it relies on the temperature. If the temperature doesn't change, the pressure won't change. The molar concentration, what is concentration? You know, C equals N over V. So moles per volume or liter you can say liter okay question 17 if this is one mole this one has the same coefficient so one mole this one has the same coefficient so also one mole okay that's it question 18 anion is negative and you guys know cation is positive question 20 okay the ions and yeah, only the charges from the table if you remember calcium is ca2 plus chloride is cl minus copper is going to be since there's two eyes it's going to be two plus okay but plus why because it's a metal not minus it's a metal is going to be plus plus sulfate so 42 minus kilo on the table i think that's it Charles. thank you so much for watching uh, uh good luck good luck in the exam